de Caden. I'm going to tell you a story that happened exactly 15 years ago. On an unfortunate night, my three best friends and I decided to go to a big party on the outskirts of the city. All the popular people were attending, so we all wanted to go. But what we didn't know was that this night would split our friendship forever. Hey, Hannah, are you having fun? Yeah, do you know where Mackenzie and Emily are? I think they are on the backyard. Okay, I'm going with them. I'm going with you. Hey, Sarah and Hannah, look what Mackenzie found. There's a forest back there, and the party is a little bit boring, so... Do you want to go and explore? Yes, why not? Also, the Mrs. Fox. I'm going too. Oh, the trees are so high. And it's so dark. Where are we? I don't have my phone here. Can anyone turn on a flashlight? Oh, I left mine in the house. Can see? Mine doesn't turn on. Mine neither. So, that means we are lost. Then we should keep walking and find a way back to the house, I think. Girls, I think the storm is coming. We should look for a refuge. Look, there is a cabin over there! Let's go! Let's see if the lights turn on. No, they don't. What's that? I can't open the door. It's closed. Welcome, my darlings. Well, who are you? I'm your host tonight because you are in my house. You are playing my games. What game? <laughs> the ones that you are going to play to now who is escaping and who is to stay here forever. <laughs> we are not playing your games. What did you say? N nothing. The first game is the Russian roulette, but with a twist. You will have to shoot the person on your left. <gasps> There is your gun. Now, play. If anything happens... I say play! No. Let's make a pause here. Sarah knew how to shoot with a gun and had a plan in mind. When it was her turn to shoot, she quickly changed the direction of the gun to the door handle. The door opened. Run! You will never live! As soon as the host said that, a knife flew across the room and stopped her on the door. <coughs> Leave her out me! Look for help! Hannah, Emily and I ran as fast as we could. Let's leap up and look for the house! That's the last time I saw my friends. I found the house of the party and they weren't there. I called 911 and told everyone what just happened. I went back home and slept one hour when the police knocked my door. The policeman told me the shocking news. There was no sign of any of my friends or the cabin. Finally, taking a purse handcuff off his pocket, he said, Mackenzie, you are under arrest for the kidnapping and murder of three persons. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs>